2008, Ghana introduced what is termed the free maternal health care policy across the country. This was to improve pregnancy outcomes for nursing mothers with their newborn babies free of charge up to 90 days and also minimize the risk of maternal morbidity and mortality. During this time, screenings are carried out on pregnant mothers to pick high-risk ones for target monitoring and management. Unfortunately, pregnant women and nursing mothers in Yama and its adjoining communities are yet to benefit from this intervention 14 years down the line. Despite the construction of a health post in 2008 by the West Mampusi Assembly, not a single delivery has been conducted here in this facility. The over 10,000 pregnant and nursing mothers within this enclave have been compelled to deliver at home. When I became pregnant, I went to the clinic, but we still to go to Wali Wali instead. The place is dry and the road is wet, so I ignored and did the better channel. I have never attended antenatal before. I don't even know what that is because I heard center here. They said pregnant. A community health nurse at the facility recounts how dire the situation is. Four stars here, two clinical nurses and the two community health nurses. Actually, we have a lot of challenges here. We are serving about seven communities, but we don't have a PA or a medical dog or a, a midwife. So because of that, we always find it difficult in doing delivery. And more to the point, the facility is too small. We don't have midwife here. Even if we get midwife without extension of the facility, we we'll find it difficult to do because we only have our four rooms, the OPD, detention room, store room, and where I stay. Municipal Chief Executive for West Mampurisi, Armia Sumo Laki Basintale, is equally worried. The midwife not been available. I think I'm going to just go to discuss that with the health director today. And inshallah, if there's the need, they should post a midwife here. So that, for the meantime, she can take care of the deliveries that are going on here. Whilst we look at the subsequent picture, where we can get a proper facility, which inshallah, by the close of 2023, we may be commissioning a, go, a very good health facility. He said the assembly in its 2023 budget has made provision for the construction of a bigger health facility for Yama. The facility has been there since 2008. And it, it, it does not now conform to what's supposed to be done. So because of that, this particular year, for instance, I have budgeted to give them a befitting health center in Yamba, with accommodation attached to it. Despite efforts by government to improve pregnancy outcomes for nursing mothers with their newborn babies across the country, there remains some communities still struggling to get access to maternal and child health services. Ghana failed to meet the Millennium Development Goals, now Sustainable Development Goals target of reducing maternal mortality rate by 75% in 2015. This is indicative of the challenges ranging from human resource capacity and logistics that affect women's right to access health services before, during, and after birth. The United Nations estimates that nearly 45,000 expectant mothers in Ghana still deliver at home as a result of inadequate health infrastructure and poor road network. The United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 3 targets reducing maternal deaths from 180 to 100,000 live births to under 70 deaths per 100,000 live births by 2030. It is hoped that the West Mampusi Municipal Assembly will quickly resolve the challenge to protect the health of pregnant women and nursing mothers. Christopher Mwako, TV3 News, Yama, Northeast Region.